Hey guys, how's it going? I just finished leveling my Necromancer to 25 and I found out some pretty cool builds with Thorns. So I want to share it with you guys. Um, for Skeletal Warriors, I'm using the Defender. Uh, the Defender inherits 50% of my character's Thorns and so does the Golem. So the Golem also have pretty much the same passive in which he inherits 50% of my character's Thorns. And Thorns comes from both your character gear plus... Uh, this passive here, which is called the Spiked Armor, it gives you 101 flat thorns. So the minions deal damage both from attacking and getting attacked. So that's pretty good. Uh, as for Skeletal Mage, I'm using the Bone Mage. The Bone Mage has pretty significant single target damage, but whenever they attack, they lose some life. And with this passive, whenever they die, they leave behind a corpse and they give me Fortify. So it's pretty good. Uh, my abilities our army of the dead which is the necromancer minion build ultimate i guess because whenever your minions die you can resummon everything again by using this ultimate i'm using uh, both curses so iron maiden is a curse that whenever the minion the mob attack they take some damage and i'm using this passive in which whenever the cursed enemy dies i heal five percent of my maximum life and the Cryptify is a 40% slow plus 20% less damage taken from the cursed mobs. Um, and I have enhanced the Cryptify, which whenever, for example, my minions attack this cursed enemy, they are going to probably be stunned because it's a 10% chance. And I have uh, 8 minions, so that's a 80% chance to stun for 2 seconds. Um, but this does not work on bosses because bosses are unstoppable, unfortunately. So, yeah. As for passives here, I'm, I'm running Skeletal Mage Mastery. I'm running the Skeletal Warrior Mastery. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I have the Spiked Armor that I just showed you. I have Bone Prison with the Ghastly Bone Prison. Um... Minions, uh, the monsters are basically imprisoned in an arena and they get the vulnerability which increases the damage taken by 20% so that's pretty good with your minions. And what else? I have 1 point on unleavened energy and 3 points on healed flesh. This is just because I wanted to unlock the next wheel so both of these two wheels here are useless. And so yeah, I think I've shown everything. That's pretty much it. Now I'm going to run a dungeon, this dungeon here, the Mercy's Reach, which I think is the highest. Uh, this dungeon can give pretty good uh, high level items, so let's do it. I think I have to reset dungeons real quick. All right, let's do it. So this build is basically just uh, I stand back cursing everyone and my minions deal the, the hard work. So yeah. It's pretty good build. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so as you can see, um, basically I don't deal much damage myself, besides with the Iron Maiden curse. And the minions does the do the work themselves, so yeah, it's pretty... I think it's a pretty fun build to play, I love playing the Necromancer from Path of Exile. So this kinda looks like the Path of Exile zombie plus summon skeleton builds, I guess. Um, although I'm not... 
summoning skeletons. I'm more like whenever the, my skeleton mage dies, I I have to you know recast the ability to resummon the skeleton mage. So I do think it it, it feels kind of similar to the Path of Exile Necromancer pure minions build in some sense because I'm cursing people and then. I'm dealing a lot of damage with my minions, and the minions are pretty tanky. These minions that are dying are the mages, and as I explained, they, whenever they attack, they lose HP, because the damage is pretty high. So I think it's a nice trade-off. Um, and whenever the skeleton mages die, they do spawn corpses, so I can resummon the skeleton mage, so it's, a, it's not an issue, really. For them to die, I can just resummon. Okay, so this map, this dungeon is kind of annoying because I have to get these boxes to the altar. So this is the first box, and then I have to do the same thing for the next uh, pedestal. Gotta find the, the other box, which should be up here, towards the left. One thing that I really think uh, they should add to this game is the ability to recall your minions to a specific spot. So right here, for example, it took a while to kill this um, elite mob because my minions were spread around. But if I had a recall ability, I think it would be much more easier to, you know, control your damage output as a necromancer. But anyways, it's something that, that they can add in the future, maybe. I think the issue with adding a recall ability is that you only have six slots here, so... I don't know how they would do that, but... Oh, uh, yeah, anyways. Alright. I think the boss is coming up pretty soon. Okay, so this is the boss, but I don't want to fight with the altar. Let me wait for this to disappear real quick. Alright. So let's fight the boss. I think this uh, build has pretty decent boss damage, so I want to show you guys. Okay, this guy teleports around, so I guess it's a little bit slower than usually, but...
All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, my gear, I think I did not show my gear. Um, I have a bunch of rares, which are just, they have some item power, like 200 and 300. But the point is that um, the skill tree works pretty nicely without any items. And this build comes together uh, pretty decently. I think it's a lot of fun to play a minion, pure minion build. And uh, as you can see, uh, I did not take much damage. I don't even think I took any damage. And I do get fortified too. So as you can see here, I have 470 life plus um, 360 fortify, which is basically um, effectively like 800, almost 900 HP here. So yeah, it's pretty good. And uh, that's pretty much for the builds. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.